hey guys and welcome back to another video with angel b designs if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be doing some mason jar tumblers if you saw my hmm i think it was my last amazon haul these mason jars were in the amazon haul that i did a couple videos ago um they are just white sublimation um mason jar tumblers so this is what i'm doing today we have our prints i don't know if y'all remember me saying i was going to do this one but this is going to this is our prints diamonds and pearls tumbler and then the popcorn tumbler so it took me a little while to get these out because it took forever for me to get the popcorn the fake popcorn but we are going to get into these these today these were so fun to make i really enjoyed them and they came out so so cute um but yeah we're gonna get into these today so definitely stick around and let's get into it okay guys so i'm here on my craft table i do have my first tumbler already wrapped um for those that are new to my channel i'm not gonna do both of them i'll do this one on camera with you guys but this one is already wrapped and ready to go um so what we're gonna do we have our image printed out the only thing i did i took my tape measure and I measured it around like this and then I measured it top to bottom like this to get my measurements okay so measure yours sometimes they might be bigger smaller whatever the case may be but that's how I measured it the easiest way for me to wrap the tumblers that you know after doing a bunch of these this is the easiest way I put the paper down first and I put my tumbler in the middle like this and then I take my paper and I wrap it around. Now I did make my image a little too big, but that's okay. And then I pull it really, really tight. And then I take a couple of pieces of heat tape and put it on the seam just to kind of hold it in place. So that I can grab the rest of my tape and we don't have it move at all okay and then I kind of feel it around in my hand like this to make sure it's not loose if it was loose it would I would be able to feel air bubbles in between my thumb and my finger I hold it like this and just kind of move it around I don't feel any air bubbles so it's nice and tight okay so the first piece I'm going to tape down is going to be the bottom and all I do this is some painters tape I got from Home Depot I would say get the good painters tape the painters tape from um, Dollar Tree tends to leave a residue um, you can get it off it's just an extra step um, so I would say invest in the painters tape from Home Depot this is the uh, scotch scotch blue brand and like I said it's from Home Depot and I just put it right here at the seam and then take it all the way around making sure I'm pulling it tight and then I'm gonna take it and fold it inward like this I know some people like to use uh, shrink wrap um, I've tried it a couple times and I could just I never could get it to work in my favor so this is the easiest method for me I've done this a hundred times this is the method that works for me okay now because this top part right here is kind of tapered a little bit what I'm gonna do to try to get it flat is I'm just gonna cut some slits here not a whole lot just a couple so that we can get it to kind of lay down flat like we need it to around the um, the tapered part at the top then I'm gonna take another piece of painters tape I am gonna put one at the seam as well okay and we're just gonna take this put it at the top like this and do the same thing that we did at the bottom we're gonna wrap it around 
kind of pushing the paper flat as we go just because like I said this one this top part is a little tapered so you want to make sure it's as flat as you can get it and if you need to cut more slits by all means do that I think I need a cup I need another slit here And then I'm going to do a piece at the seam. I'm actually going to do another piece of painter's tape just because that doesn't feel um, that doesn't feel tight enough to me the way I like it. So oops. I'm just going to tape it again because I want to make sure it's as tight as I can get it. No, I've never had my painter's tape catch on fire. I know a lot of people, you know, comment that. I've never had my painter's tape catch on fire. Like I said, I am using the good brand painter's tape. So maybe that's the difference. I'm not sure. I've never had any problems with my painter's tape. This is the method that I use. I've been using it for uh, well over a year now. Okay. So we have both of our tumblers wrapped here what I'm gonna do I have my black and Decker um, convection oven uh, warmed up already I do put mine on 350 I don't put it on 400 just because it does get really 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 hot I don't need it on 400 okay I took the rack out and because these ones can stand up I'm just going to put them inside of here like this not touching anything not touching this rack these racks I can't take out um, it's not touching the side it's not touching these racks it's not touching the top it's not touching anything but the bottom I'm gonna let this go for I do six minutes total okay so I'm gonna let this go for two minutes I'm gonna I don't have to turn it because the tall tumblers I have to lay them down these ones I don't but I still want to open up the door because I don't it gets so so hot in there so I'm gonna let it go for two minutes I'm gonna open up the door for like 10 or 15 seconds let a little bit of heat come out go for two minutes open up the door and then let it go the final two minutes okay so let me set my timer all right so um, I went ahead and I set my timer we're almost done with the um, the tumblers and the convection oven Here's my little fake popcorn pieces. I will link these down below. I got them from Amazon. Um, please ignore my thumbnail. It broke. But they're like little fake popcorn pieces. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I got them from Amazon. So it looks like white and butter popcorn. Um, these did take forever to come though when I got when I um, ordered them I have seen some on Etsy if you want to go that route but like I said I will link mine down below I got them from Amazon um, so if you guys saw my face my fake ice tumbler topper video same method we're going to be using um, I'm not going to put any um, this is a mason jar so there's just a hole for a straw and that's it so I'm not going to put a piece of popcorn here, obviously, because we want to be able to, to put the straw through the hole. But we're going to just kind of place the popcorn on, you know, on the top of it, kind of, you know, sporadic or whatever. And we're just going to be using our hot glue gun um, to stick them on there, just like we did before. And they do kind of have, um, there's my timer. So I'm going to open this for a couple of seconds. I'm going to take them out and check them really quickly just to see if they're ready. I did lose track when I paused the video. Um, This one looks pretty good. I think I'm going to do two more minutes because I can't remember if I did four or six. They do look pretty good. I'm going to leave them in there for two more minutes just to be safe. Um, and make sure they're nice and cooked. But I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to do it with the door open. Because I don't want them to burn. 
Um, so these little popcorn pieces, they do have little flat sides on them. I don't, hopefully you guys can see that. If you see this right here, it's flat, right? Whereas like the rest of it isn't, but this little part right here is flat. That's where I'm going to be putting, that's where I'm going to be putting the glue on that flat piece uh, on the popcorn. I'm going to be putting the glue right there to put it onto the topper. tumbler top now to hold it steady so that I could put the straw here all I did was I set it on top of you know like a little this little thing where that has the um the centerpieces I just kind of stuck it in there so that I could put the straw in so I didn't accidentally you know cover up the space or whatever okay so our tumblers are are ready I did take them out already. They are pretty cooled off um, just because I was working on that topper. So let's go ahead and take our paper off and see what we got. The top part looks like it didn't really take that well, but as long as the rest of it did, I don't really care. If I can get this tape off. Oh wow, that looks so cute. Okay. So here is the tumbler. Yeah, like this part right here didn't really take all that well, but that's okay. So it just looks like, you know, that's a movie film. Here's the popcorn. Here's like the film roll. Um, that looks really cute. And then the popcorn just goes right on top. There we go. I'm like, if I can get it on there. Okay. There it is. Let me back up a little bit so you guys can see. Turn my ring light down. I always got to turn my ring light down. Okay, there it is. I think that looks super, super cute. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other one. Which I don't think I told you guys what it is. It's the um the diamonds and pearls, the prince one. So 
let me turn this back up we have this one done um here's the second one which is the it's a prince image and then i gotta put the um the diamonds and the pearls on the top on the topper Yeah, the top on this one didn't really take that well either. Dang it. That's okay. Oh, but it looks so cute though. Okay, so here's the um, the Prince Tumblr. It says Prince here. And you see how it didn't really take at the top that well at all. But that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, here's the, um, these are Diamond and Pearl. You see, these are Diamonds. I mean, I'm sorry, these are pearls and diamonds. So the topper is going to be diamonds and pearls. Get it? Ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm just going to do the exact same thing for this topper. I'm actually just going to put it right on here because I've already opened it. I'm going to take the straw, put it in here like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue our diamonds and pearls on here like this okay all right guys and there is the finished product let me bring it over here more so to the light okay there's the diamonds and pearls I'll probably add more but that's just what I have so far but there is the finished product. I don't think it looks that bad at all. Just in some spots up here at the top, obviously. So you want to make sure you wrap that better at the top. All right. That is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.